you know, I, I love you to death and I really do care about you, but truthfully, you've been a little clingy. Hey guys, welcome to the Get Up. Today we're talking Love is Blind, episodes seven through nine. Yeah, and we got uh, Ashley. She's with us in spirit and on the phone, right? We got her she, <laughs> on the she, phone, she, but she, not she's in the studio. She's dialing from sunny Alaska. Yeah. Nice and warm, tropical place. Barrow, hey Alaska. <laughs> Barrow, like the, the Arctic circle here. But yeah. here I am. That's right. All right, guys, we got three more episodes of this show. Started off pretty slow, man. It was pretty slow. It was like a lot of filler. And I'll tell you what, that preview for you know that they showed last time, mm -hmm. kind of like false advertising. Oh, yeah, yeah, that stuff didn't really happen. No, and and the stuff that it showed was going to happen ain't even going to happen until the next episode at least, right? Yeah, so, I know. So I'm like, what is this? It's crazy. Yeah. Hey, you guys call it every single time, and everyone gets hyped up about it, but here we are. That's right. Yeah, so this... Episode uh, seven starts off. Everyone's apologetic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jimmy's apologizing. Jeremy's apologizing, <laughs> and everything right. is cool. Everyone's forgiven. Yeah. They're still and on so the honeymoon. Giving the kisses and making up, and it's good, man. Yeah, <laughs> and I think Jimmy said something about, or yeah, he was like, "Yeah, I just acted sorry." So right. that's, that's so we're good to go. That's all good. good. That's right. <laughs> and Brittany and Kenneth have a conversation about being in a mixed relationship. Yeah. Any thoughts on that? Yeah, I, I, I think Kenneth is just completely against it at this point. I think it's gotten into his head about, you know, how his family's going to feel about it, how his friends are going to feel about it. You know, and then that conversation AD had with him, you can tell it kind of got in his head. So I think he's just, he's, he's just not even, not even interested. He's open to it, I think. But I think he did, after that AD conversation, he got so, mm -hmm. like you said, in his head about it that I think he's no longer open to it. Yeah, well, I mean, she's, I mean, I mean she flat out said, and, and he mentioned it, that she's used to dating black guys, right? But he's never dated a white girl before and never been in a mixed relationship. So, yeah, I think he just allowed right. too much stuff to get into his head to where it just kind of shut him down. Yeah, and he kind of says, like, what are people going to think? But it's like, you need to go to bat for her. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yep. And that's an area. It Doesn't shouldn't matter. matter. It's like... You should be telling them how tight you guys are and how in love, and mm -hmm. you'll make it work, right? Yeah, but exactly. he he doesn't really do that. No, no, not at all. And and yeah, he's, he had a nice uh, you know that whole awkward silence in the boat, man. Yeah, he's kind of like a boring guy unless you're talking about uh, dolphins. Then <laughs> anyway, right, right, so, so. so. he's like, oh shit, I had a golf <laughs> dolphin keychain, man. I threw it away, but <laughs> I, threw I loved it. Right. I fell in love with dolphins because of that. You got me talking though. Literally, I loved it so much. Can I have dolphins on um, aisle two, please? Yeah, and, uh, you know, she's trying to get flirty oh, yeah. and affectionate with him, but he's not really having it. She even, like, no, grabs his hand and kind of, like, rubs his hand, and he's, he just has his hand out there. Yeah, and then she's got, like, her hand on his leg and stuff. She's like, you like that? And he's like, oh, yeah, no, I do like that, you know? <laughs> it's like, well, you ain't acting like you like it. It's like, come on, man. Yeah, very awkward on the boat. It seems like they have a hard time connecting at all. So Yeah, definitely. And, and, well, and it's basically all on him, right? She's trying. You can tell she's trying. And he just ain't feeling it, you know? And again, I think it's just because he's all on his head and he's just kind of giving up on it, just not wanting to take that risk. So. Yeah, I'd like to know more because it, it just doesn't seem like he's with it anymore. So mm -hmm. he's kind of checked out. Right? Yeah, it, it was definitely a, a flip of a switch for him at some point. Yeah, you know, and she even says to him on the boat, she's like, look, you know, I just, I'm not feeling the affection from you. And he was like, really? Because most of my exes say I'm overly affectionate and all that. And yeah, and like, you're like, what are you talking yeah, right, about, man? <laughs> right, exactly. So I mean, he's know. pretty affectionate with his phone. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll get yeah, that. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll get to that. But, uh, and, you know, and the thing is, and, and she's being nice about it. She's a sweetheart, right? She's being super nice about it, like trying to go about it in a diplomatic way. Like, hey, you know, I'm just trying to show you some affection here. And he just, he just like shut down, man. Yeah. It's a cry for help. And we'll, he's we'll not. just get to right. it. He, he, once he gets his phone back, he's, he's like knee deep in his phone. Oh, and dude. he gives her very little attention. This cat is like, oh my God, I miss my phone so much, man. You were able for him to like start tonguing his phone right there, man. I was like, <laughs> what's going on? And she's like, you know, you, you don't, we don't hardly kiss and we don't ever make out. Mm hmm. So, like, what kind of relationship is this? Yeah, she's like, she's, you know, she tells him, she said, look, I know we made, you know, we made, you know, the the agreement here. We're not going to have sex before marriage. She's like, but I still want to feel like I'm wanted and desired. I still want you to, like, come at me, you know, and you just kind of had that thing where, like, we're just kind of fighting each other off, you know? 
And she's like, we're not having any of that. Oh, and he totally gaslit her in this oh, conversation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, he absolutely did. No doubt He's about like, it. well, that's on you. Like, that's for me. I have that desire. It's like, you haven't shown her any no. of well, that. And, then, and, then the thing and is, she sat there and took it. Oh, yeah. Well, the thing is, too, this dude comes in at, like, 1.30 in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning. She's got to wake up at 5. He's like, oh, I turn. You know, she's like, you turn the lights on and woke me up. He was like, yeah, I was trying to be affectionate to you. <laughs> and I was trying to, you, you tell me I don't show you that. I'm trying to show you that. And it's like, bro, this chick's got to wake up at work at 5 o'clock in the morning. You're going to turn the lights on at 2 a.m. on her. Of course, she's going to be like, what the hell's going yeah, on? Yeah, and she you know? tells him how she kind of feels. And he's like, well, that's you, not me. I don't, you, you're speaking for yourself, not really me. Yeah. I don't feel that. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, but and you're not like, doing well, I guess, anything. I guess we'll call it then. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to force something. So if you don't like me like that, I guess, all right, bye. Right, exactly. And, and like, <laughs> and the reason she doesn't like him like that is because he hasn't been giving it back to her. So I'm sure it's a turnoff for her. You know, because she was trying and trying. She's and then, trying really hard. Yeah, and then when he ain't giving, I'm sure it just turns her off. And she's like, okay, well, I'm not even filming this anymore. And I got to tell you, you know? After watching this, I mean, Brittany's a sweetheart. She's like one oh, of my dude. favorite at yeah, this point. Absolutely. So it's it's unfortunate. Yeah. I mean, and, and he's a nice dude. He just, yeah. yeah, I don't know what it is, man. He just, maybe he he's just not feeling it. it and but, he took yeah. that. He took that conversation. He's like, "Oh, this is this is my yeah. chance." Oh, he, right he, here. he manipulated the hell out of it. No strategy. Doubt. Yeah. Oh, he called his boy as soon as it was over. Right, right. He's like, yeah, bro, he's like, I'm, packing, I'm packing up my shit, and I'll be on there, <laughs> on there in five minutes. I'm free. Right. <laughs> I was so. like, man, I mean, and that was it. And I was like, cut, no more Brittany and Ken, dude. They're done. Yeah, that's and unfortunate. I gotta say, yeah. like, you say he's a nice guy and you say all these things, but regardless of whether or not it was going to work out or if that was the right time or the right way to break up with her or how that played out, she was devastated. She's crying. Oh, yeah. No she's doubt. sad. And he, he doesn't reach to give her a hug. He's just like, oh, no, no, he did walk up and give her a big hug. They shared a big hug for a minute before yeah, he went, you know, before Yeah, he and right. then he walked away back to his phone. Like, he did. Yeah. He, She's sitting there sobbing in a corner. He's like, yeah, bro, let's go. Right. Bye. Time to yeah, roll up. And I get you don't need to give her, like, constant attention, but you just, like, walked into the apartment, and you're kind of ignoring her right off the bat. Yeah, and you're like, hey, phone. Yeah, like, hey. She's yeah. trying to, like, say, like, this is our home, and mm-hmm. look how fun it is. Like, what drawers you want this? And he, he's practically ignoring her. And then he's like, hey, do your thing. I'm going to go downstairs and chill. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, all right. So, yeah, no, he, he was... Yeah, man. I mean, like, see, he seemed like he's a nice dude and everything, but he's definitely not a nice boyfriend, that's for sure. I'm excited to have my phone back. Um, I get to talk to my friends. I miss my family. But as a principal, like, I had to make sure that my school was still afloat. Yeah, and he, he did say, like, he had something to do for work. But, like, he could have expressed that a little bit better if that's the case. Like, hey, um, let's do this, but give me five minutes. Let me send this thing out and get right on top of it. Or whatever. Yeah, exactly. So part of it could have been editing i don't know but it just didn't seem like they had a connection at the end of the day no. he had no interest in being around her whatsoever once they got back home no he didn't anyway i mean it wasn't even just back home it was like it was on a vacation too right it was literally like after he had a conversation ad it was like he just got in because before that you know he was kind of you know, they were giving each other pecs and all that stuff and trying to have a good time and then after that man it was like just downhill from there like he just got so into his head about a mixed relationship you know and then he was like nah i'm just not even gonna give it a try yeah, I've seen friends, you know, get closer than they right, were. So. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, switching to Clay and AD, like Clay, he he's a big believer in red light kisses. Oh, yeah. So, yeah he's like them red light kisses. <laughs> Gotta and, get him and, in. And AD was digging that. She's like, yeah, I'm down with that. And he loves to slurp his soup. Oh, yeah, Big yeah. soup guy, apparently. He was digging that soup. <laughs> yeah, he was. Well, he was like, well, let's do it. before he even came out, he's like, oh, yeah, man, come <laughs> the soup comes out. <laughs> Yeah, he's really into it. And, and that's like a weird scene because they're talking. And at one point, like, 80's just looking at him. He's, like, stacking plates. They play some weird music. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's, it's kind of like an awkward, awkward scene. Yeah, like, like, what is going on here? Right. I thought I was missing something. But I'm like, he's just piling yeah, everything just up. being nice so. to the servers, right? He's take it away, yeah. But she she was giving him, like, a weird look during that. Oh, moment. yeah. Yeah. Well, and then, and then, of course, after that, they're kind of sitting there. And she's like, all right, what's wrong? And it's, like, kind of starts going downhill a little bit. He's like, oh, so he starts going in, getting into stuff about the... Uh, you know, the marriage thing and how he's still kind of not sure about it. Yeah, he says, like, one little thing, and then she kind of, like, you know, explores that a lot. Mm-hmm. What just happened? takes that as, yeah. like, a huge red flag. Yeah, rightfully so, right? She should explore that a lot at that point. But Clay does pretty much say all the right things eventually and yeah. stuff. And, I mean, he just... Eventually, yeah. he, Well, <laughs> you know, he's, he's probably, like, processing it and thinking it through, and then she's like, what are you thinking about? And he, he says something, and she's like, well, that's concerning to me. Right, right, exactly. So... Is, is but, this but, really an issue? But what I do like about it, though, is 
the way they communicate, they do it well, right? Because mm-hmm. she's not like whining and crying about it. She's like, she listens to him, right? And he says what he has to say. And then she explains how she feels about it. Then he explains how he feels. And it's just a very nice, polite conversation between these two, right? So as far as like yeah, it's never an right? argument. No, no, they, they, they deal with that very well. Now, I do feel like she's on the defense. Like she's almost, it seems to me, like waiting for the moment where he's going to say this doesn't mm-hmm. work or like I can't be with one woman or something like that is what it seems like to me a little bit. Yeah. Well, and especially when they had that conversation. Like right? her guard's up. Yeah. Because, you know, they had that conversation and he was like, look, you know, everybody, all, all, all my heroes I look up to, they were all, you know, they all ran around. My dad ran around. Like everybody I know ran around. He's like, and that's just what I'm used to. So, you know, he's like, it's hard for me to get out of that mindset. Right. Yeah, and it's so, pretty messed up because he, he talks about his dad taking him on trips where he was like essentially yeah. cheating on his mom. Like that's messed up. Yeah, yeah crazy. that was yeah. crazy. I was like, holy crap. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, who knows what that does to a kid and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I can see why he has his issues and like, maybe she yeah. needs to be more accepting of that and go, Oh, this guy's, you know, got some scars from this kind of stuff or just some healing to do re- regarding yeah. this. And I need to work with them. But. but, but remember she did say before that, that that's been her past with relationships, right? She's like the fix taking mm-hmm. these guys that have these problems and, trying to fix them, and, it, <laughs> and it never works for right. So, yeah. So, and, and then quite honestly, you know, just the way he explained it and everything, he's like, yeah, maybe you need, a, you know, maybe you need a little therapy, you know, get a little bit of therapy. And talk and he's to all for the that. therapy. Yeah, too, he is. So. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And he's got a pretty nice place. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah. And she she was digging it. She's like, oh, yeah, we can definitely, you know, I can see us raising a family here, you know. Yeah, a yeah, nice little place. Yeah. Because yeah. some people had apartments, but he right. had like a legit house. Well, then I'll tell you like too, you know, so then when we see, you know, his mom come into the picture and his, uh, you know, his, who, who was in there with his mom? His sister. His, yeah, his sister. sister. And his mom heard them both out. And then she's like, all right, I see. So she explains, yeah, I see what he's saying. Yeah, he's got a, he's got a busy job. He's got a lot of stuff going on. So you need to be understanding of that. But then at the same time, she tells him, look, you know, if you got somebody you love and you care about, you make time. You know, yeah. you, you, she's like, you know, you she's take like, that you time. You need to have grace. Time. Yeah, exactly. And, and if yeah. you care for someone, you make time, plain and simple. Yeah, exactly. So I, I like that, man. I love how his mom kind of took him, but what, what they both said, and from her, you know, experience, and she said, look, here's how you got to do it. You know, and it was very good, good advice. Yeah, and I like oh, that. Especially in this early on in their relationship like i can see that like years down the road but like this early on in the relationship sh- they should be wanting to spend every minute together yeah i mean that's true too but, but it sounds like he does have a lot of work to do and he's mm-hmm. pretty dedicated to that so and you know that but obviously if she wasn't can't working, put that on hold yeah and, and that's yeah, the thing she wasn't like working he said yeah, it sounded like he had to go do something with like a rental property or rental equipment or something like that. If she's not working, then why not offer to bring her along with him? Yeah, that's true. I guess he could do that. But I will say he's not. It doesn't sound like he's screwing off, hanging out with his boys, or doing something else. Right. So, right. Yeah. You know? That's true. Yeah. No. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm hoping it works out for them, man. I'm hoping he can kind of get his head out of that. And maybe you know the the therapy and stuff like that will help him out, and you know, it'll work. I mean, I like these two. I'm rooting for him. Um, I'm going to be, this is going to be one of those like 50, 50, I think mm-hmm. on, on wedding day. Oh, so. As of right now. Yeah, for sure. But I think they're good together. Yeah, and, and I think as long as he maintains like a good positive attitude and he seems to like listen, you know, yeah. um, to his mom, to her. So yeah, absolutely. yeah, I think she could be really good for him. Yeah. And, and him for her, if, you know, if he can just, you know, keep himself on the straight. And some people you know? say he has a big ego, but I'm not sure if I see that. I mean, at, at, at the beginning, I could see it. He was talking about how good, how good looking he was and all that stuff. He was mm. kind of mentioning that. But, oh, for sure, in the pods. Definitely. But late, you know, in, the, in later episodes we saw, you know, he's. I, I didn't see it too bad, right? I mean, he seemed like he had a huge ego later on. But, but of course, we're only seeing a very small amount of time that they're together, right? So. I, judging from what he said in the pods, I thought he was going to be a lot worse. Honestly, right, exactly. So. But well, uh, I mean, and he and he does that. He does actually keep himself pretty fairly balanced or you yeah. know in check because like you can see by the place he has and his businesses and the way his mom says he's an entrepreneur he does really well for himself and he's never it's never at least been portrayed on the show or bragged about like how right you know, good right. he does for himself like that so he's humbled in some way i'm sure yeah absolutely so they they go to the group and everyone's hanging out at the beach having a good old time and they're it seems like the show's kind of setting them up and like switching people around and having to talk to different people. Mm-hmm. But uh, Jeremy talks to uh, Amy and he mentions Sarah. This to me is like the yep. first big red flag because oh, yeah. like they're just having a regular conversation and then he brings up Sarah yep. and like Amy didn't even really know what to say about no, this. You, so. can tell she was feeling, you can tell she was uncomfortable about it. Yeah, that was, uh, you know. Because he mentions <laughs> wanting to meet her still and yeah. she's like, oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> right, right, that's right, exactly. Yeah, you could tell by the look at her face. She was definitely that? Right, exactly. Yeah, that was that was definitely the first red flag with him of of many that we end up seeing, right? But 
But then, uh, but guess what, boy? I tell you what, tell you what, though, man. They must have some damn good food, though, because Jimmy was killing them taquitos. Yeah, Jimmy. (laughs) Jimmy was. That cat's like, man, raging about the taquitos. He's like, I have five of them bad boys for y'all. Even saw them. I mean, he's like (laughs) biting his own lip and stuff. You know what's funny? In past seasons, there's been like these lawsuits and everything about how they don't get food on these shows, and like if you look at every episode of the show, they're constantly eating. Oh yeah, yeah, they're digging in, man. It's It's like they're like, all right, tab that. Let's show everybody that these people get fed. Yeah, no doubt. (laughs) Yeah, and like they go to talk about Amy and Johnny and and. Amy like mentions like one of her big hangups, like I need my dad's blessing and everything's uh-huh. going great. But she's like, I don't even know what I do if he said if, no. if he didn't give his blessing. And yeah. you're like, mm, well, that's kind of interesting because man, Johnny and Amy, like they're, they don't even have a single argument no. during any well, of stuff. He really. even mentions, he's like, I want us to have at least one fight before we get married. So, I, so we know how we handle that. Right. He's like, we're so, you know, we get along so well right now. It'd be nice just to have one big fight. You know, just see how we both handle it and how that would work out, you know. So And, and Johnny's very right. interesting because he's like a super planner. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, yeah. And, and like, there's and a lot not, of uh, talk about birth control. Yeah, she's like, she's like, I'm, she, you know, she's not wanting to go on it, right? And she's like, yeah, I just don't know how it's going to affect my body, and I don't even want to deal with that, you know. Which, but there's other options, which right. I'm like, oh, yeah. you know, there's a thing called condoms yeah. and other things well, but, out there. Well, but then she, in one of the... You don't trust the condoms. Yeah, 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 probably, Jim, I don't think he does. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't. That's the thing. And it, she even said that. She's like, yeah, Jimmy's not comfortable with just condoms, right? He's got to have so, a backup. Right, exactly. <laughs> And then she's mentioning vasectomy for him, but I mean, yeah, it's reversible, but I mean, you could it could cause complications, right? So yeah, it might not. You know, it, it so might... that just seems like really interesting. And she's all about like, hey, I don't want to wait until wedding day to get our freak on, you know, because right. this could be a deal breaker too. Yeah, so, right, exactly. Oh, and I just don't want to wait that long. But I don't I know. I mean, they didn't bring yeah. up a diaphragm. Like, what, how? I mean, I wonder if you'd right. be alright if she used a diaphragm and he used a condom. It's like a female right. condom and a male condom. You know, yeah, I don't know. True. This just seems complicated. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, from his he's perspective, just, he, just, he doesn't get it. He's like, <laughs> no. every girl I've ever been with has been on birth control. Right, exactly. Like, yeah. And I, and I understand but, that, right? I mean, most guys, I think, would understand that, right? Why she's so you know, against yeah, but, even trying it, but yeah. it's, you know. Well, I understand and, her and, point and of view. Right, exactly. that, yeah, I understand her point of view as well. As I'm sitting here t- thinking about it, like as a woman, that's that's right. Like everyone would just kind of expect that. And a lot of times, right. girls go on birth control at a young age just to regulate their cycles and things mm-hmm. like that. But it is hormones. It is messing with your body. And, you know, if she, she says she's got a regular cycle, she knows her, her system and it works. And once you start messing with that, right, you could, know, you could jack it all up. Yeah. I mean, I, I get yeah, it. So I don't blame her. Yeah. So everyone's going and seeing each other's place. Did anything stand out to you guys? I mean, Jeremy's place looked really dude, nice. Dude, Jeremy's place is awesome. I guess he takes that the, well, that's the prize. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. But speaking of Jeremy's place, so uh, I don't know if you guys heard, but evidently Jeremy was engaged when he filed to uh, come on to this show. I guess they didn't do very good enough <laughs> background check on these folks, but uh, that's what the rumor is. And uh, so I guess his ex was on uh, on one of the the uh, Facebook sites we follow, and she was like, "Oh yeah, we were engaged." She's like, "The house that he said he sold that was his." She's like, "It was our house." And uh, so well, know, they, so they were I, supposedly together when he signed up for the show, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so evidently this new well, house. Well, maybe that, they were together, but he wasn't. He wasn't in it, obviously. Well, he didn't seem like he's in much of anything, right? He's, he just goes with, with whatever's next best thing's coming. You know, Maybe we'll he pulled a more. Kenneth and said, you're speaking for yourself, but that's, <laughs> that's not my <laughs> point. <laughs> point. We stay together. <laughs> but yeah, that, uh, that makes you, like, you know, Jeremy seems like an okay guy from what they show, but, like, possibly knowing that and then what we see at the end of these episodes. Oh, yeah. I don't know about Jeremy. No, nah, that dude's a dirtbag. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll, we'll talk a yeah. little bit more about that. Um, but did anyone's place stand out? Yeah, Jeremy's. Like you said, Jer- Jer- Jeremy's place was polished. <laughs> Even Laura was like, holy crap. Yeah. She was like, she, this dude's like above and beyond anything I've ever seen. I mean, all right? his labels are facing the same direction. And oh, yeah. And matching. I mean, I mean he's probably, he, I mean, he probably labels. had like a cleaning lady coming in every week while they were, you know, while they were filming the show to make sure his place is still spotless. Because that crap was like, man. Now, Jimmy goes to Chelsea's and she has a roommate and mm-hmm. she's kind of a bit much. Oh, yeah. And, and Jimmy's like, yeah, I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's like, I can't do it. He's like, I could not live here. And she's like, I'm her. practically married to you, too. Right. And he's like, <laughs> Chelsea is more than enough right. no, for right. me at this point. Too, yeah. so. Let me tell you. I know both of you guys, and in that scenario right there, you guys would have both been out the door. You'd have been like, nope, not happening. Oh, hell yeah, no doubt. Well, I mean, boy, it ain't just that. Like, Chelsea in general for me, man. Like, I mean, you know, we get to that point where, (laughs) 
where they're having that that conversation. Yeah. Well, first off, she talks to her friends and she's like, "He hasn't kissed me once today," and they're like, "He hasn't kissed you?" And he's like, "No, I'm just talking about but today. today. He's right. giving me kisses." And like, "Geez, man!" And she seems to be keeping track. Of oh, this yeah. oh yeah, pretty frequently. Well, and then, and then you know, and then and, and the thing is, and he actually, and I remember he actually kissed her when they were sitting on the couch together in front of her friends. Like he walked up to her, pulled her close, gave her a kiss, and all that stuff. I think you know? Jimmy's affection is plenty. Yeah, it seems fine, right? And then, uh, you know, but then ha- they start having that argument about it. And she brings this crap up to him after the friends leave. And he's like, dude, where the hell did this come from? She's like, oh, you haven't kissed me all day. He's like, no. He's like, in the morning, I kissed you when you were getting ready. I came and kissed you and on the cheek. Like, mm-hmm. She's like, I don't remember that. And he's like, and then later in the afternoon, he's like, uh, you know, I came in there and gave you a kiss on the cheek. He was like, and then, you know, and then, you know, later on, you pulled me to the bedroom to have sex. You know, you initiated that and we did I that. I mean, you know? we have a stage five clinger situation. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looking all over for you. I got to get out of here, Prano. I got a stage five clinger. Clingy? I felt like. Are you fucking kidding me? You and your clingy clingy? <laughs> and, and, and then, yeah, and then as soon as he calls her clingy, man, she just blows up. Yeah, I was like, kind of clingy. Oh, she's, she's like, how down at that? Yeah. dare you, sir? Oh, yeah. And then she starts her whining. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, man. I was like, Jimmy, get the hell out of there, man. As I- <laughs> and you say I'm too clingy. And then went upstairs and I had sex with you? And I'm too clingy? No, this is bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. That's fucking rude. I thought it was kind of interesting because she kind of uses the sex to throw in his face. And yeah. he's like, you initiated that. Yeah, exactly. He's like that. And, 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 and that was and, a bit much, he, he says. Yeah, and he did say, like, that was a bit much, too, where I get, like, that's not going to be good. Right, right. Exactly. <laughs> you know, so. And then he realizes that, right? He's yeah, like, uh, he's like, uh-oh. <laughs> He messed Never up on that one. Right, exactly. Yeah, because right. yeah, right. yeah, then later on, she's kind of throwing at him. Oh, you know, I tell you, I'm not going to you know, initiate anymore. He's like, no, no. But I, but I don't initiate. like how she tried to use that against him because she made it seem like that was his item. She's like, and I did this for you. And it's like, yeah. whoa. You have been a little clingy. <laughs> All right. Well, expect a lot less from me now because that's fucking bullshit. Right. Well, then she kept like, and then she would talk and she would stop for a minute. So he would try to talk. And she's like, I'm not finished. And then she would keep going. Well, he and was like, kind of oh, interrupted. And, and, I mean, at one know. point, I guess, but she would just, she was annoying. She annoys the hell out of me. That girl is so annoying, man. No, she but, definitely uh, was interrupting her. Now, was she over the top with her reaction to ever? Like, he has to walk on eggshells when he's talking to her. Oh, absolutely. You know, no, I mean, she's Grant, very triggered by the slightest thing. I mean, Grant, Grant, but he doesn't interrupt her. Yeah, I mean, granted, he's not the most diplomatic dude when he explains stuff. You know, he's pretty blunt about a lot of stuff, but at the same time, like, just her whining and just the nonsense, like, man, I could not stand Well, and I I think Mm. his his interruptions are coming from a place of, whoa, let's not go down this rabbit hole. Maybe I can shut this down, but it it doesn't work that way. But you know what? They always seem to make up the next day. I mean, he actually left because she said, I'm going to leave. He's like... I'll give you your space. Yeah, I'm leaving. Right. And then the next day, she's like, how dare you leave me? You, that's messed up. And he's like, <laughs> he's like you were going to leave. She's like, I didn't know where you went. Right. He's like, I went home. Where am I going to go? <laughs> she's like, she's like, yeah, she's like, I'm the bar. He's like, the bar on a Tuesday? He's like, she's not going to work. <laughs> but hey, they, we've seen previous seasons where oh, people are yeah, out yeah. on a Tuesday. <laughs> no doubt. But they do make up. So, I mean, do you think this is too much for jimmy at this point yeah, or do you yeah, think dude. like yeah. nah, they're they're working through nah, it nah, it's too much for jimmy yeah. <laughs> this is too much for most dudes man <laughs> like most guys ain't gonna want to put up with that <laughs> I mean, yeah, seriously i mean most guys ain't gonna want to put up with that so they do the thing now everyone's meeting the parents mm-hmm. it, i don't think there was really yeah. much eventful stuff with this one like, i mean jeremy meets um laura's parents, parents and, if, her dad funny dude because when they were like when her dad was one on the camera he's like laura's one of the girls where if you put her up on a pedestal and treat her like a princess she's gonna walk all over you and then she's gonna like resent you for it <laughs> so, yeah, so like, they kind of like to me, almost came in a little grumpy, but I think they liked that he was kind of challenging her and putting her into places. And, but she was like ready to air some dirt to them too. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And, yeah. and J- Jeremy's like, oh, we, do we really need to talk about that right now? And this is kind of weird because right. she throws some stuff out there when you just like were introduced to them a couple mm-hmm. minutes ago. Right, exactly. So, well, and, and then like her, and it's funny because like she's telling her sister stuff that annoys you, and her sister's like, dude, why the hell is that annoying? That's cute, you know. Like, but she brings up the DMs to her parents, and it's like, yeah. man, he's trying to make a good impression of them, <laughs> right. and she's like, well, <laughs> this dude DM like Sarah Ann and put a little heart thing on it. Right, when well, no, she DM'd him, and then he just put a heart on it. And he's like, well, look, I don't want. Maybe he's like, yeah, maybe right. He's like, look, I don't want to be rude. She's like, well, yeah, you could have just did a thumbs up instead of a heart. And he's like, look, you know, so yeah. But well, they seem to not take too, you know, too much, you know, thought into it, you know. But yeah, but the sister was interesting because it seems like Laura is trying to take things from. Him. She's like, well, that's something he likes. You should embrace that. And she's right. like, 
I'm damn yeah, right. Sure. No, wow, you have no, mom. You, 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 she, you know, your, your husband like, can have mom. What is the deal with her the Hawaiian shirt? Like, I'm going right. to go buy... She, I'm gonna go buy my husband some shirts. Yeah, yeah. Since I just I get home. <laughs> Hawaiian shirts are your big hangout. Right, it's crazy, man. So I don't know. Well, she did say that she realized that that was a petty hangout when right. she made her pros and cons list. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> but she's mentioned it multiple well, times. It, exactly. So... <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, that. thank goodness Jeremy's house was in order because I was waiting for. Oh, I mean, she was dude. creating a list yeah. there too, like, and he's yeah. like, "Oh, I'm good on all that," and he just asked the dishes be like, not in the sink at the end of the day. I think. Yeah, so. that's what he said. He's like, "Don't put your dishes in here at the end of the day, and don't leave these." No, no, she had, was she asked for it. No, I think he one. said that, and she brought yeah. up like three other things. He's that's like, right. Yeah. Well, I don't do that. Really, I'm good. Yeah, that's if, right. Yeah. If this couple makes it to the altar, I really no, hope they're not. In a no, shirt. this couple ain't made it to the altar, especially after what happened at the end. Yeah. And matter, no, fact, matter, really fact, matter of fact, after this last episode, I think this couple's done. I don't think this is going to be a couple anymore after what we just saw. No, I don't know. Well, yeah, because there's always forgiveness. Because getting into that, like, yeah. Je- you know, they showed Jessica talking with Laura, and uh-huh. she's like, hey, you know, I saw that, like, Jimmy um, sent me a friend request and then yeah. re- immediately rejected Like, it. Right, as soon as y'all got back into the, into the States from the Dominican Republic, he sent me a friend request. Like, the day he got back is what she was saying. Who does that, though? Right. Who gets back from whatever you want to call this thing, like this honeymoon type of situation, mm-hmm. and then you have someone else on your mind? Oh, yeah, that's crazy. But then, but then the way Jessica was explained to it, right, was it, oh, Jeremy found a picture of Jessica, and in, in, in the, in the way, uh, not Jessica, Chelsea, was explained, right? I guess he told Chelsea that yeah, the oh, stories aren't adding up. Right. Yeah, that Jeremy found the picture <laughs> and Jeremy showed him the picture of her, which obviously ain't really what happened. So but then what I didn't like about this conversation as well is, you know, so they're talking about it and you know, so I mean, she's already worried. Laura's already worried about Jeremy and his freaking DM and right with Sarah. And then Jessica's like, Hey, you know, do you think uh Jimmy wants to see me? And Laura's like, oh yeah, I think he does. You know, kind of going. Yeah, well, I what, was what Laura, at that too. Yeah, what her response? Well, she's just being honest. Like she knows yeah. that that's true. Yeah, it's yeah, true. But she, but she, but she said maybe, be... maybe he does, but it ain't a good idea, and you shouldn't do it, right? So that's yeah, what she, she didn't say that. That would have been good. Laura says, "Listen, hear me out." Laura says that it, she wondered what kind of space there, there am. Is that her name? Yes, yeah, Sarah. Yeah. To even reach out to Jeremy, and so. She should be shutting Jessica down at exactly. this point, like and saying, "Hey, look, this it didn't sit well with me with her reaching out to my guy. I don't think you should be reaching out to this chick." Exactly, like you should shut him down. Yep. But she's like encouraging, and she's like, "Yeah, I want to talk to you." Cool. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I thought that was kind of crazy. I was like, "Damn, girl, like you're going through the exact same thing that you're telling her. You know what you don't want to happen to you is you're telling her to happen to you know this other person. So like, that's crazy." Yeah, yeah. yeah well. She should have shut that down. Oh yeah, she totally should have. Yeah, so there's a lot of DMs going on. Oh, yeah. Apparently, so. And nothing good comes from that. No. <laughs> no. And she's like, and Jessica's like, yeah, you know, I'd be lying if I didn't say I still think about Jimmy all the time. And, and I saw his picture, and and Laura's like, what would you think? She's like, yeah, he's okay. You know, she's like, but even if he was butt ugly. I, I don't just don't understand you know? why everyone's kind of fawning over Jim. Yeah, I don't either. He's got a pretty good voice, I'll give him that. But yeah, that's about it, right? He's, I mean, he's just like an average dude, you know? Even, he's hanging out yeah, with a I'm bunch of girlfriends, when- too? Yeah. Uh, when Jessica said she wasn't turned off by what he looked like, I was like, "Really?" Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but she loves the voice. Well, yeah, and then, yeah, and then and then instead of meeting the family, she got to meet two girlfriends. You know, she yeah. got to meet his two girlfriends. Yeah, so who were, were like his. And sisters, we found out like Jimmy cried during sex. So like, you ever cried during sex, Billy? You never cried during sex. <laughs> Maybe you haven't had good sex. Yeah. No, I've had some good. <laughs> I don't know if I had balling in my balling volunteers during it though. That's crazy. Well, let's be clear. No one, no guy is going to volunteer the fact that he's doing that. He was just called out. Yeah. Well, he and didn't he, volunteer. He didn't, like, he didn't, he didn't out appreciate it. So. <laughs> Even Chelsea's like, "This ain't right." This dude was crying. Right. So. <laughs> he's like, "Baby, this is the best he did sex not ever." Look like he he's appreciated that. that. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. But then Laura, she comes in the room. She sets down her Stanley Cup, and mm-hmm. she goes into interrogation mode mm-hmm. on old Jeremy. Yeah, rightfully so at this point. <laughs> She's like, "So." Want to tell me why you came home at uh, 5 a.m. this morning? This is an interesting conversation. Oh, she's kind of talking down to him. And, but, yeah. you know, it's, she, she, he's putting her in a bad situation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's lying out his freaking ass. And finally, when she calls him out on it, he's like, uh, I don't want to talk about that right now. <laughs> like, yeah, because he's like, like, like oh, I was in the man. parking lot of, what does he say? Like, the the, the, the bar, going. wherever they were at. Yeah. And uh, and she's like, no, you weren't. Matter of fact, you were down on the north end or wherever the hell it was, and uh, which is this restaurant about where, by where she lives, right? And he was like, uh, I don't want to talk about that right now. 
And she and she was like, we're done, freaking done. And rightfully so. At that point, dude, you freaking in that shit, cut it loose and be done with it because well, obviously. He's like, I sent you the location. And yeah. she's like, I was sleeping. What do you want me to do? Right, exactly. Because she played it off like she wasn't looking because she was sleeping. and then But then she ended up calling out on it, calling him yeah, out. Yeah, she anyway. might be good. She might be like, oh, let me let me uh-huh. have him hang himself here and then I'll drop that, the hammer that's off. Exactly, that's, exactly, <laughs> that's exactly what she was doing. So, that is exactly And that is exactly what she did. <laughs> so you were in the parking lot, huh? Yeah, well, because you're right. I did look at that shit, and you weren't in the parking lot. <laughs> you got me? Right. I don't want to talk about that right this second. You don't want to talk about it this second. No. Just admit that you lied then. He was, so he obviously went and friggin' at the very least. Well, he's uh, trying and, to and minimize he, it, though. He, and right, say, hey, I, mean, uh, I just didn't want to leave anything hanging out there, right, right. and, like, something seemed to bother him, and I'm going to address it. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, what? So you're an idiot. Yeah, that, that dude's a dirtbag. Friggin' yeah, dirt And bag. I do have... She's like, you should have shut this shit down a while ago. Uh huh. Exactly. Yeah. She's like, I don't know if you're just a nice guy or what, but that's not how I would handle it. No. It was messed up. He didn't yeah. want to shut it down. It's very obvious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very <laughs> obvious. But why yeah. has he got to lie? So it sounds, yeah. So I mean, based on that, it sounds like this relationship's over, you know, and then in the next previews, you know, we saw Sarah Ann at the bar, you know, talking about her relationship with him and how he told her that he's shutting everything down with Laura and all this shit. So, I don't know, maybe the next episode is yeah. going to be him and Sarah Ann together. Who knows? But Yeah, but then we see, like, Chelsea saying, you screwed her, you screwed her. Like, oh, yeah. what is going on? Like, who is she? Yeah, well, well like, because, yeah, Jimmy because, couldn't have done that. But we also hear Jimmy, like, say some stuff, like, I'm still with you, that blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And there's kind of like a cutover where you think he's talking to Jessica, Jessica. and says, you're still my number one. Yeah. But he could still be saying that to Chelsea, for all we know. No, I thought it showed them together when he was saying that to her. They were no, both it shows picture. her face. Like, it switches. So, like, they could have done some clever editing. Uh, maybe, I don't maybe. know. Maybe. But... You think that the voice doesn't match the scene? <laughs> yeah, I, I think he was talking to Jessica. <laughs> he was talking to Jessica right there. I don't know. And, well, and, 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 well, and, and I tell you this: what really kills me about that at that point, Jessica should have just laughed in his face and got him walked away, right? Period. Because at that point, man, if, if he's telling Chelsea, you know, he picked Chelsea over you, so obviously you weren't really his number one. She was, right? And then you know he's already done went and freaking you know. But uh, Jimmy's not going to have sex with her, right? <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> I don't know if he would do that. Oh, oh hell yeah! But he I would. don't know what she'd he be would, saying. Jimmy Could would, she be talking about Jeremy? Is there some world she's no, really referring Jimmy to? Jimmy would do that in a heartbeat, and I honestly couldn't blame him. Sort of. <laughs> no, I mean, that'd be messed I, up. I, I, I could blame well, him. He would be. I, I could blame he, him. He'd be a dirtbag. Yeah, he, he is a dirtbag. Let's be, <laughs> let's be dirtbag. clear. He did it. Let's be clear. There's a possibility that yes, he definitely would do it. I can oh, yeah. see that happening. Yeah. But there's also a possibility coming from the way we've seen Chelsea behave and react to things he says and does that she's mm-hmm. she's saying it in an ac- accusatory to- a tone as if she knows for sure, even though she really has no evidence. Well, it, it did flash the yeah, look on his face. True. It did flash the well, look on his face. But here's the deal. Let's not forget Jessica is a mom and stuff, and that looked yeah. very bad that, on her I was well. going to mention that, too. That, I mean, what kind of example would that be to set for your daughter if that happened? Number one, even like I said, you know, e- by even – thinking about getting together with Jimmy after he chose another woman over you and all that stuff, and you were actually the second best, you don't want to teach your daughter to go for the second choice. You know, you teach your daughter, you go for the man that wants you, period. You know, so just hey, like, talk to like Trevor. Man, you know, right, talk exactly. to Trevor about right, that. Right, right, he knows. Yeah, right, right, Trevor. Right, exactly. I need right, exactly. Trevor. Yeah. And Trevor so, got rid of his mullet. Yeah, he did. What's he doing? Uh, yeah, nice nice uh, clean haircut he had, man. I was like, damn. Yeah, I, I'm. I mean, they teased me last time with this, and I was waiting for this, and then they teased me yeah, again. So I'm true. like, when is this going to go down? Right. So <laughs> I guess next week. Yeah. Next week. week. But does Chelsea go for Trevor, and does Dude, Jimmy go for Jessica? I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think Jimmy definitely ends up going for Jessica. It, but it also shows them on a roller coaster where he's like, I have zero regrets. Yeah. So that's probably before the. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, do I think Trevor would go with Chelsea? Absolutely, hundred percent. Do I think he should at this point after I've seen how Chelsea reacts to confrontation and stuff? Hell no, I'd feel bad for him. I don't know. Trevor I'd might have come to his senses during all that. Yeah, maybe. So I'm looking forward to it. So. Yep. Where are we I at? think no. we all, I do think we, hold on a second, I do think we all need to give Chelsea a little bit of grace here as far as the way she reacts. Yeah, it's not great, but in, it does appear that she has these insecurities. Oh, but again, no doubt about this it. is a, no doubt about it. this is a, you know, 
crazy situation that she's put in and she's on, you know, being televised with this. And we'd all have moments that we would wish we could replay and do differently. So Yeah, but she keeps repeating those moments with her insecurities though. So <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe she's learned so, from it. Maybe that she's grown from it, you know, especially having to watch it back. You know, and maybe there's arguments they've had in other conversations where she wasn't that way. And of course, we're not going to get to see that because Netflix wants to show us the drama. Who knows? You know, but from what they've showed us, right. the way she handles confrontation, it ain't good. So it looks like right. Kenneth and Brittany are done. Oh, they're toast. They didn't yeah. even show them after no, that yeah, point. So yeah. I don't even know if they're going to be on the show. The yeah. show at any point, right. maybe on a reunion or something, just to hang out. And <laughs> I don't, I don't think know. either one of them had something going on with somebody else, so there's no. not even a chance like one of them probably gets with someone else or anything. Right, exactly. Um, and then you know, I did read that there's a fifty thousand dollar like fine if you don't show up to the altar. Really? Wow. Yeah. No, they probably would contract. let them out of that because I mean, what what would be the point of having them go to the altar when you <laughs> right they, when, when they already broke it off, so. right? Yeah, exactly. And maybe they're like, you're not supposed to break it off. You're supposed to like keep it going and keep people guessing. Yeah, we can't saw his way out. Need that? All right, I'm done. Yeah, well, it was, and maybe that's why Ken said what he said. Then he's like, well, you're breaking it off, not me. So you can deal with the producers. <laughs> right. <laughs> and he's like, I'm calling my boy. Yeah, right. <laughs> Found a loophole. Right, right, exactly. I'm out. <laughs> but uh yeah, so they're out. Johnny and Amy seem solid. They oh, try to yeah. make a deal with the dad, but I can't imagine that's gonna be yeah. what does because even like Johnny's family is in love with her at this mm, point. Exactly. So yep. Uh, I think they're solid. They go through with it. If they don't, then there's there's, there's no for anybody. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean AD A D and freaking clay. I, they might be okay, right? They might, right now it's kind of 50-50. Just I'm, rooting on, I'm, rooting I'm rooting for them. I'm rooting for I'm rooting It's really on clay, right? I mean, I'm totally rooting for them. You know, who else we got here? Yeah, we got... Uh, Jimmy. Yeah, like I said, Jimmy and Chelsea, no, you know when the hell they're going to make it. That ain't happening. And then, uh, and obviously, I think, I think based off the end of this last episode, Laura and freaking uh, Jeremy are done. Uh, well, you know, I, I they done. just don't... Honestly, even if... He doesn't like cheat on her with Sarah Ann. I I just don't think they're a good couple. I don't no. think they really work well together. No, not at all. I mean, she's yeah. kind of bossy and she's, I mean, she's hard to deal with. I think. Like got. anybody, yeah. I think, would be hard to deal with her just because of her personality. Yeah, no, even her dad. She seems that, right? so, pretty controlling, and you got to be like real chill, I guess, to be with her. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. He's too hyper for her. Yeah, he's hyper, and he's, a, he's an annoying dude, too. Right? Yeah, he's Some hyper, he does, right? So. He can't like control himself with other girls apparently right, right. <laughs> he's got too much energy he's got to yeah, stay right. up till 5 a.m right yeah, and exactly. hang back yeah talking in the parking lot you know it's like get the hell out of here bro we all know what you did we all know what you did jeremy jeez but well there you have it folks uh that is episodes what was that uh, six seven and eight seven through nine or seven through nine yeah uh i think jeremy's a uh, toast man at this point but uh hey tell us what you guys think <laughs> about it you know, I know there's, there's a lot of stuff going on right now on the uh, love is blind facebook page about this that i've been reading on and uh, a lot of good interesting conversations and we did have a poll who you, who you guys yeah. rooting for and it was overwhelmingly johnny oh, and yeah. amy so uh, it's absolutely man. and, and then uh we also had the poll about the megan fox thing and 75 percent of you do not think she looks like megan fox right. i'm surprised 25 you people are crazy <laughs> i'm surprised 25 people who are these 25 percent of people that's <laughs> right actually must have been on there yeah. like those, with the, multiple the, accounts those, those are the people that are giving <laughs> yeah those are the people that are giving her a little bit of grace <laughs> No, I'm not just saying. Oh, it's man. literally, I thought it before she even brought it up. I mean, before I saw yeah, people man. stretching. Like I saw them flubber. put like Megan Fox's hair on her and this, that, yeah. and I'm like, well, that is Megan Fox at right. this point. Right, right. <laughs> I, I, I also, somebody wrote on the on the Facebook page, Megan Fox, and they spelled it F A U X. It's like that's awesome. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Oh jeez! Hey. Look, I think this is like I think this is like that that gold dress blue dress situation you know like half the world saw it as blue half the world saw it as green. gold but no, this, ain't, this ain't a half and half we just went over the statistics <laughs> <laughs> anyway the poll has spoken <laughs> well there you have it folks that is a couple of episodes down we got what i think one more two more left and that's it we got two and one yeah two and one two we got the reunion coming up that's right yeah so Anyway, hey, hit that like and subscribe, and uh, hey, we love doing this with you guys, love talking to you, and uh, we will check you all in our next review.